How do you actually open a delivery service business? Let's talk about that. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as superb as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's cover, I want to discuss with you the steps you have to take to open a successful delivery service business. It is very important to understand that nowadays there are, when it comes to delivery um, service businesses you have national players such as usps fedex and, and ups you have uh, international players such as uh, dhl but at the local level there is a gap and uh, so the probability is there the possibilities are there that if you are able to set things up right you can actually grab a good market share and have a successful delivery service business what's very important to understand is that a delivery service business provides fast often same day delivery within a particular area and a service may specialize in a, spe in, spe in a specific type of delivery such as uh, let's say delivering food or it might deliver all kinds of packages so it's all about you either you go on a niche or you just diversify okay and one thing I want to say here is that after analyzing the delivery service business we found that there are three things that are very important nowadays first Customers want near perfect execution. It's very important to um, to prioritize quality over qual quantity. So you got to be very careful here in terms of efficiency, in terms of uh, effectiveness, in terms of uh, client satisfaction. Those are important things. And number two, a small business must optimize for last mile logistics. And this is kind of important. If you're not experienced or disciplined to optimize operations, it could be tough competing in this business because an operator can do almost everything right and still see problems near the finish lines, right? So hot food can be delivered cold. There can be payment errors. An app can direct the driver to an adjacent but wrong address. All kinds of stuff. Number three, being careless with pandemic safety protocols. Now, we're currently in a COVID-19 era. Now, this situation is not going to be around forever. But for now, you have to be very careful about those safety, uh, safety elements. So this show has five sections. I'll be talking to you about planning, legal compliance, setting up your business, funding your business, and running the business. So let's first talk about how to plan, how to plan your s delivery service business. A clear plan is essential for success as an entrepreneur because the plan will kind of help you map out the specifics of your delivery business and discover some unknowns, right? So you got to think about the startup uh, and, and ongoing cost. Who is your target market? Very important. How much can you charge customers and what would you name your business? Now, a delivery business's largest startup cost is the acquisition of a suitable vehicle. It's all about it. Now, the vehicle I'm talking about here doesn't need to be fancy, but it must be what? Reliable. And such a vehicle usually costs several thousand dollars at least. And then you have insurance. Very important. And so the other startup costs are minimal. And here I'm, I'm referring to fuel, equipment cost, things like hand truck and, and uh, ratchet and straps, licensure fees, and marketing expenses. A cell phone is also needed to make calls, and most business owners rely on a computer as well. So those are those are a few things you have to think about, and you also have to think about uh, you have to think about the ongoing expenses for your delivery service business. So you have uh, vehicles maintenance and, and depreciation, fuel cost, and insurance premiums. All of this should be considered before you actually uh, start thinking about launching your business. And you have to think about the target market, right? So if you want to, do you want to make quick local deliveries or do you want to partner with uh, interstate uh, players to deliver uh, across states, across state, uh, state lines, right? Partnering with local flower, flower shop, for example, or cake shops and pizza places can provide steady business. Kind of think about that. And uh, you have to think about how much you want to charge. This is important. 
pricing is kind of critical because that's going to determine whether or not you're going to be successful and how much profit can a delivery service business make it really depends upon uh, the uh, the location but according to research the average deliverer makes about 34 to 50 bucks per hour okay and uh, so if you work 40 hours a week you can actually think about how much you can make about 1500 to 2000 and you can but there are ways to make the business more profitable and i'm going to talk about that you also need to think about things like uh, the name you're going to give to your uh, to your business very important right the name has consequences in terms of uh, uh, copyright in terms of uh, in terms of registration at the state level in terms of web domain availability this is very important step number two so number one was planning number two you got to think about legal compliance so as I said you, you want to name your business you want to be you want to have a, a name that is creative and unique so once you name your business it's time to set up your company from a legal standpoint right this may sound kind of difficult but listen there are resources to make such such a task easy if you don't have the funds to hire a local attorney you can do things online so you have uh, services like legal zoom you have nolo you have uh, inc.com all those online services can help you name your business and follow the paperwork to actually structure your business from a legal standpoint and you need to form a legal entity whether it is uh, you want to remain a sole proprietorship partnership limited liability company and corporation now i think it's better for you based on the research to actually uh, set the business as an llc or a corporation so that you can be protected from being held personally liable if your delivery service is sued right and then you have to think about also uh, registering for taxes very important you need to register for a variety of state and federal taxes before you can open for business so but uh, the the thing is before you can uh, register for taxes you got to have an EIN and EIN means an employer identification number so all you got to do just go on the internet go to on the, the IRS IRS's website and uh, apply there it, it takes literally a few minutes and you get an answer within a few hours okay and think about small business taxes at your state level at, a, at the county level also think about obtaining the necessary permits and licenses because if you don't have those you may have to pay hefty fines or even cause your business to, to be shut down so you don't want that nobody wants that think about also the state and local business licensing requirements because when it comes to permits and licenses you you have the state level and then you have the local level the municipality level the county level those things are different for every state so you got to be very careful about you want to be mindful about what's going on in your state and i want you to think about vehicle registration and you need to get business insurance right so your business needs insurance in order to operate safely and lawfully so you want business insurance can protect your company's financial well-being in the event of a covered loss. There are several types of business of uh, insurance policies, and uh, so you can have general liability insurance or other businesses. You, you also may need to have workers' compensation insurance, especially if your business will have employees. Okay, so this is very important. And one last thing that I want to say before closing here business owners should always consider the appropriate type of insurance to protect your the, their businesses in case of an accident and in the delivery business things happen a lot so you also may want to think about cargo insurance and possibly liability insurance okay very important i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still talking about how to open a money-making delivery service business. So I've spoken to you about planning, about legal compliance. Now I want to talk to you about setting up your business. Now you got to think about opening a business account and credit card, right? You want to separate your personal finances from your business finances. So you got to have a business account, a business bank account. So if you have an EIN, you can actually open a business uh, bank account very easily. And uh, you also want to do the same thing for a business credit card because this will help you separate personal and business expenses by putting your business expenses all in one place. And it, it also builds your company credit history, which can be very useful to raise money and investment later on. Very important. Okay. 
And you also want to think about accounting. You want to set up business accounting. You want to record your various expenses and sources of income in a separate uh, in a separate folder. So you can use software like such as um, QuickBooks Online. You can have uh, Wave. You can have uh, Zillow. It really depends on you. And you have to think about def defining your brand. So your brand is what your company stands for. So it's kind of similar to your name, but more in terms of symbols, in terms of uh, emotional um, appeal, in terms of vision and mission statement. Okay. And a strong brand will help your business stand out from competitors. And so if you're not feeling confident about designing your small business logo, you can check out actually uh, online, go online to a freelancer platform such as uh, Fiverr, Up, Upwork, and uh and uh, freelancer and you can have a lot of people there to kind of help you and you have to think about how to promote and market your delivery service okay so you can put signs on the vehicle used for deliveries or you can go to higher highly desirable locations for potential customers such as florists and, and pizzerias and you can request them to advertise at and even partner with these businesses it really depends and many many other free and cheap advertising methods like creating a website posting on social media and putting out flyers can also be very useful so it's up to you to model model your business around what really works for you and you have to think about also keeping customers coming back very important okay so the best way to do this is to promise fast delivery times as I told you, customers right now, they want near perfect execution. So you want to, you really want to focus on quality here and think about creating your business websites. All right. You want to, you, you can either use free website builders such as uh, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, Shopify. We have actually uh, covered that topic on another show. Number four. So planning legal compliance setting up uh, your business and now i want to talk to you about funding your business if you have the money to start your uh, delivery service business fantastic if you don't don't worry there are resources out there you can tap into to fund your business there are several delivery business loans available so you have merchant cash advance you have ach loan you have equipment financing you have business lines of credit you have short-term loans you have business credit cards and uh, let me talk a little bit about um ach loan now it, an ach loan is considered a cash flow loan so an ach loan can provide you with rapid access to capital and the payments are deducted straight from your from your bank account which means you don't have to schedule payment reminders and equipment equipment loans are kind of cool also in terms of uh, funding your delivery service business so this kind of loan is designed to help you pay for it you guessed it equipment right <laughs> delivery businesses can use this loan to pay for delivery vehicle purchases whether you need a truck a van a fleet of bicycles computer equipment or any other physical supplies that are used to run your business and because the loan is uh, basically secured by the equipment itself this loan can be accessible to a wider number of borrowers and then now uh, one thing I also want you to think about is that so where do you have uh, where do you find those uh, sources of funding? There are a few sources of funding you have to think about. So you have the traditional national bank, you have the local banks, you have the credit union. So if you are a member of a credit union, it might be a great idea to actually uh, inquire about uh, business loans for delivery services. And you can also go on peer to peer lending platforms such as Lendio or uh, lend up or a lending club you can also go to loan marketplaces those are actually online platforms that match borrowers with lenders and you can try alternative lenders you can try friends and family if you have folks in your entourage who are who have a little bit a little bit of cash on the side it could be very interesting to to reach out to them and also reach out to private lenders and um, if you want to be approved for any loan you apply for, there are a few things you got to do. Please make a plan. You want to have a business plan. You want to have a business plan for your delivery service and uh, know how much you, you will use, how much you need, what you can do, what, what you, how you can expand your business so that the lenders know exactly how they can help you and where their money is going. And you also don't worry about uh, hiring an expert if you need uh, some kind of uh, 
uh, a financial expert to kind of help you go ahead and do that. And you can also actually reach out to lenders in your area or contact them directly. So step number five, folks. So I've spoken to you, planning, legal compliance, setting up your business, funding your business. Now let's talk about running the business. There are a lot of stuff, you, a lot of stuff. Uh, there is a lot of stuff you can do. Um, the, the most important thing is the equipment first. So you, you got to think about getting a, a truck or a van and get some equipment. You got to have all the necessary equipment to make sure your business is actually running, actually up and running. You want to promote your delivery business. You want to do this constantly. This is an important thing. You got your truck, you got your, uh, your equipment. You need to get customers. Getting your name out there is an important step when trying to get your business off the ground. So let, let your family and friends know that you are open for business. You can use Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, whatever it is. You can you know, build yourself a website. I already talked about that. And make sure the site is easy to find, especially it has to be mobile friendly. It has to be, uh, it has to be um, responsive design, so responsively designed. Very important. And you want to start building your, your reputation. Remember, it's all about reputation. So once you have your first job set up, it's time to execute. As I told you, customers expect nowadays near perfect execution. So keep in mind that although the, although the customer may not know it, they are more likely going to need your services again. This is a repeat business we're, we're, we're talking about here. All right. And you also have to think about whether or not this business is right for you because a delivery service business may be a good choice for someone who is physically fit and has reliable transportation. Physical fitness is necessary because couriers sometimes have to deliver heavy or oversized packages. So a larger vehicle such as a van or SUV is less fuel efficient, but it sure ensures that a courier service can accept all kinds of products. So think about that, all right? So because deliveries may be scheduled for almost any time of day, it's difficult to start this business while working a full-time job. And you have to think about the, uh, you have to plan your day in advance, know exactly what happens during a typical day at a delivery service, things like taking delivery orders, picking up packages, and dropping them off, right? And as, a, as the business grows, you might need to hire more drivers and once there are multiple drivers, a business owner may transition to overseeing the fleet of uh, couriers. So this may involve accepting orders and uh, passing them on to drivers and ensuring deliveries are made in the most efficient manner possible. So think about that. You got to think about the skills of experience that will help you build a successful delivery service, right? And uh, because the growth is there, delivery services are growing like crazy. And even though we still have uh, we still have Uber and Lyft, or we have Grubhub or Zipments or any any kind of uh, all other uh, unicorns, if you will, there is still business to be made. And you have so you also have to think about hiring a team if the business grows. How are you going to do that? Do you need software? Are you going to outsource it? So those are things you have to think about as you start running your business. Okay. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. So I was talking to you about how to open a successful delivery service business. So I spoke to you about planning, legal compliance, setting up your business, funding your business and running the business. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.